So as well as cups and things like tumblers and other things, I've seen some of the bowls you did, but I heard you did cutting boards too. Yes. So I imagine that it's important to realize that our epoxy has a 500 degree scorch resistant rating. That is amazing. Yeah, a lot of times you take a hot pot off of the stove and put it on something. So being scorch resistant would be important. It would be absolutely beneficial. Um, we may, I make the, the pot holders where you would put a pot on, on it, you know, when the pot starts to get cool. And so it would be absolutely important to have that scorch resistant. So it doesn't soften, it doesn't melt, and it doesn't stick to the pan. Right, and, and just so that everybody's clear, scorch resistancy means you can take a burning hot pan off the stove and put it on there, and the pan will, the, the pan will dissipate heat out of it, and the epoxy is still going to be fine. What mm -hmm. you don't want to do is put something with a heat source directly yes. on it. Like if you had a pot of boiling water, that's fine because a pot of boiling water is boiling water and it's going to cool off quickly. If you took a pot of boiling oil, that's a different story. That's going to stay hot for a mm -hmm. significant amount of time and we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Also, it's not going to hurt anything to put a crock pot on it, like putting on your counter. But we usually recommend if you're going to be putting a crock pot directly on an epoxy product that it isn't white. Because okay. white tends to cream a little bit from heat and things like that. And the heat's generated from a crock pot's very, very high for extended yeah. periods of time. Anything with a heat source is okay, but we just don't want to do it on the very light colors.